men's 100 backstroke S13 final. There are the finalists. Maxim Rushkovich from Belarus. First of the Belarus swimmers here in this final. Anti Latika from Finland in lane number two. Big hope for a medal. Sean Russo, can he get on the medal podium again at a World Championships? Can he challenge this man, E.R. Boki from Belarus? And can Kirill Pankov win the first ever World Championship medal for Uzbekistan? Nicholas Guy Turbay from Canada in six. And Yaroslav Dinsenko in seven. Medalist yesterday in the 200 metres individual medley. Now, this is the S13 classification. And can anyone challenge ER Bulky Giles? It looks unlikely given the entry times posted. Well, swimmers in this class typically can see at a maximum depth of about five metres in front of them, but have quite a narrow field of view. Only a sort of fully sighted person would have a field of view of 180 degrees. These swimmers will have somewhere at a, well, at a maximum, will have 40 degrees field of view. Now, what that means in terms of swimming backstroke is that the flags there that we can see being adjusted, they let backstrokers know when they're five metres away from the end. They then count the strokes and turn and these swimmers, those flags are going to come into their vision much later than they would for someone who was fully sighted. Using those backstroke start devices, the new devices that have just come into play this year, giving the swimmers much better grip on the wall. Oh, there is a problem at the start here. Swimmers being told to Relax, it is those starting devices that's causing a problem here. The, the judge is just adjusting the side of that, making sure both sides are level and locked into place. And we will be underway with this final, the 100 backstroke in the S13 class. Well, Bokey was Second to none, great arching backstroke, but also going well in lane seven. Denisenko of the Ukraine, but Boki already taking out a lead on him. He's a, he's a real kind of slicing backstroke style. Hands go in, little finger first. Very, very solid indeed. There he's gone under the flags. He gets the turn right, as does Denisenko. But, under, but Boki's underwater section is absolutely superb. Denisenko also good, going well also the other side of the pool in the yellow hat, Sean Russo of Australia. The, this is Boki now coming into the final 15 metres, Paul. It is a superb display, as always. We have come to expect this from Iho Boki. It is Iho Boki, the world record holder. It's Boki against the clock. It's going to be a new world record. It is a new world record. 56.74 for Iho Boki of Belarus. He betters his own mark by 0.2 of a second. It is silver to Denisenko from Ukraine. It's bronze to Sean Russo of Australia. And Kirill Pankov misses out on the medals by three one hundredths of a second for the Uzbekistan team. But what a display from Ihar Boki of Belarus. Well, it really was a lesson in how to swim a 100 metres backstroke. The fact that you could see his feet flip out there on the start meant that he was completely clear of the water, a very difficult way of starting indeed. You can see there the hands really kind of cut into the water, there's no placement, and he possibly could have rolled into the, rolled into the finish a bit more and even cut that world record down by some more. E.R. Boki is the champion in a new world record time. It's silver to Denisenko from Ukraine and bronze to Russo from Australia.